When using the PARS jig for the Achilles mid-substance speed bridge technique, a percutaneous incision is made in a transverse manner, just proximal to the palpable rupture. Alternatively, a small longitudinal incision can be utilized. The tendon is grasped and the jig is inserted with the inner arms inside the peritinon of the Achilles tendon. The first PARS needle is placed in the number one hole in the jig to stabilize the construct while passing the other needles and sutures in sequential order. Lastly, the white suture tape is then passed through hole number one. The jig can then be removed, which pulls the sutures out of the incision. Separate out each of the five sutures the white, blue, and black suture tapes, as well as the two green and white fiberlink sutures. Each suture should be tested by pulling light tension through 10 cycles to confirm appropriate hold in the tissue. On both sides, pass the blue suture tape under and around both green and white fiberlink sutures twice and back through the loop. Then advance each loop back through the tendon using the free end of the green and white fiberlink sutures. This creates the locking stitch. Two stab incisions are made, one centimeter below the superior aspect of the posterior calcaneal tuberosity, medial and lateral to the Achilles tendon. Within these two stab incisions, insert the guide wire utilizing the drill guide with the white centering sleeve at 45 degrees from the center line of the Achilles in the coronal plane and 45 degrees from posterior to anterior in the sagittal plane. Guide wire placement can be checked under fluoroscopy. These two holes are drilled with a 2.6 millimeter drill and tapped for later swivel lock insertion. A banana suture lasso is passed through the distal stump of the Achilles and out of the rupture site. The suture tapes from the proximal portion of the tendon are then passed through the distal stump and out of the stab incisions distally. The suture tapes are then loaded through the eyelet of the DX3.9 biocomposite swivel lock anchors. The foot is plantar flexed 10 to 15 degrees to approximate the tendon ends. The swivel lock anchor is placed into the prepared hole to secure the suture tapes. The laser line feature on the swivel lock shaft can be utilized to confirm when the anchor is flush or 2 mm countersunk. The same steps are repeated for the suture tapes on the contralateral side. The incision is closed. Jumpstart antimicrobial dressing can be utilized, and the result is a secure, knotless repair of the Achilles tendon rupture.